Can you be spiritual and not be religious? Yes. You can be both? Yes. So they don't have to converge? No. Okay. I mean, I say that because there's wonderful people who have spiritual experiences on their horses right. on Sunday morning. Uh-huh. And they just are not going to bother with this religious stuff for a lot of very good reasons, and some are lazy reasons. Mm-hmm. Let's respect everybody exactly where they are, and let's let grace lead them where grace needs to lead them. You don't want everybody to be in church on Sunday? No, I don't. Wow, what kind of preacher are you? I want everybody to know God. You want everybody to know God? I want everybody to to know the love that I know that fills their hearts so much that they are joyful and peaceful and they are respectful of every human being. I, what I want, Oprah, is to turn the human race into the human family. Wow. And you don't have to be in church to, to be that. a part of that because Gandhi was not in church and he did that. There are a lot of folks outside to Christianity who do that. Okay, so coming to church does what for us then? The experience of grace, of church, of knowing God's love happens so much faster when I'm with other people. It happens faster than when I'm by myself. Why, because of the energy field there? Exactly. Mm -hmm. There's an energy field that is present. It's real. And uh, that's what Jesus, that's why Jesus said this eternal truth, that mm-hmm. when two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. Now, if you can take that in a non-literal way and understand yeah. that God was speaking through Jesus at that point, mm-hmm. then it is important for people to gather. 